Alright, hello YouTube, DiabloGuy582 here, and I have a pretty fun and interesting application for you who, for those of you who are kind of like me. I love Macs, but I think it would be cool to run a Windows operating system on my iPhone, just to kind of see how it is. And um, I think uh, it's also kind of cool that um, there, are, there are ways to do it with XP and Vista and stuff. They haven't come out with one for 7. But I use one that um, allows you to do Windows 3.11 or Windows 95. And it's called B-O-C-H-S. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Dot. And that's an application. And so you're going to need three things to be able to do this with your iPhone. Uh, I, first of all, I have tried this with my iPad. And it won't work because my iPad's mobile terminal will not open. But obviously you're going to need a jailbroken device. And this will work for an iPod Touch or iPhone. I wouldn't recommend doing it on the first generation iPod Touches or the first generation iPhones. Because even with the 3G it's really slow. And uh, I think you just need a faster processor. So I wouldn't even give it a try with the older ones. Um, so there's three applications, like I said, that you're going to need. One of them you're going to install onto your computer, and one of them you're going to install, or two of them, two of the other ones you're going to install onto your iPhone or iPod Touch, and then there's a file you have to put on your computer. This should not take you very long once you get everything set up, um, about five minutes maximum. So um, the first thing we're going to need to do is download this file over here bochs deb and um, that is the file that we're going to use and uh, to do this you're going to need to know how to do SSH but I will teach you how to do that and that's why you have this application CyberDuck it's an, uh, an SSHing application and um, so basically here's all the files you're going to need to download CyberDuck uh, that's that application, and I'll put that for a link in the description. And remember, this will only work with Mac, because CyberDuck is a Mac application. I may do one with Windows later, but my PC doesn't have Wi-Fi, so it'd be harder to do SSH. Um, then you're going to have to download this file, which I'll have a link to. Then you're going to have to get three things on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You're going to need mobile terminal. Open SSH and obviously Cydia. I didn't need to tell you that really, so only two things. So, first, what we're going to do is open up CyberDuck. Now, you're going to need to make sure that your phone has, your phone or iPod has its Wi Fi turned on. I'm going to turn my camera on here. Um, of my live camera of my iPod so I can show you guys uh, basically what you're gonna need to do okay so the camera's on slide to unlock and uh, you're gonna need to go into settings probably all iPod touch users know how to do this and basically uh, if you don't have Wi-Fi you're not gonna be able to do this so you're going to turn on your Wi-Fi. That's all you need to do there for now. Now, you're going to need to go into um, CyberDuck. And let me go, okay, let me go over this. So first what you're going to want to do is see how it says FTP file transfer protocol. You're going to go down to the third one and do SFTP. SSH file transfer protocol. Okay, now when it says server, that basically means your IP address. So let me get onto my phone again and show you this. You're going to go into your settings again, over to Wi Fi, and when you see your network, push this little blue arrow over here, and it says IP address. You're just going to type that in. So let me do that right now. 
That's one nine two. And um, it should say that under there. Now you're going to change the username to root. Okay. And then the password is, I think it already knows it, it's Alpine. A L P I N E. Okay, so now that we're here, um, we have everything set up. The phone has a full connection. And we have it set on SFTP, which is the third choice down. We're going to hit connect. And it's trying to open a connection to my phone. It's Unknown host me. key, you're just going to allow it. And there, it's connected to your phone. Now what you're going to need to do is hit this up arrow right here three times. One, two, three. And this will come up. It's basically telling you everything that's on your phone. Then you're going to go over here to TMP, and you see everything here. This is very simple. You're going to take this off your desktop, the bochs.deb, drag it into here, and That's you have to allow it again. And then this is just going to take a minute. It's copying it to my phone right now. Alright, we're almost done here. Just finishing up transferring the file. Alright, now as soon as it's done, like you just did, you can um, uh, it's okay to reconnect to 3G with your phone, do anything that you want. And we're going to close that, disconnect from the device by pushing the eject button, and quit Cyberduck. Okay. Now that everything's done here, I'm going to switch over to the camera of my phone. Alright, sorry everyone, this is really bad quality. My Flip HD is running out of charge, so I couldn't use it. Alright, um, now we get to the part where we need to use mobile terminal and stuff, and uh, you may have found easier ways to do this on YouTube, and they may not have worked for you. Same thing happened to me, I really don't know why that's happening. But this is the only way that I've been successful with installing the operating systems onto the device. So we're going to open it up and go all the way over to Mobile Terminal. Let it log in. Alright, this is really blurry. I'm sorry about this. Alright, I'm just going to put everything up on the screen for you to type in, but I will be typing this in right now. Uh, or you can just listen to me uh, talking, typing it in. So, it's going to say the name of your iPhone, dash iPhone, so mine says Cooper's iPhone. Then it has a little squiggly line, it says mobile, and then there's a dollar sign. After that, you're going to type in SU, then enter, and it's going to ask for a password. You're going to type in Alpine again, um, but you're not going to see the password being typed in. It will not show any characters. So here it is, A-L-P-I-N-E. Hit enter. Now it's going to say, the name of your iPhone dash iPhone forward slash var forward slash mobile space root and then number sign. Once you get here, you're going to type in a series of commands. You're going to say D P K G space dash I space forward slash T M P forward slash B O C H S 
dot D E B. Hit return and it's going to start downloading your file.